Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I'm here to share a word that was given to Allie Winters. The title is, The Love of God is Limitless. His mercies are new every morning. And this word was posted May 19th of 2019. The love of God is limitless. His mercies are new every morning. Great is His faithfulness. All you have has come from the throne room of Creator God, yet sin rules and reigns in your heart. Without appreciation or gratitude, the world continuing to control your thoughts as you travel through life, desiring more and more of what it has to offer. Have I not already spoken words to warn, admonish, teach, and train? I have spoken but my words fall on deaf ears. Your choices determine your destiny. Do not say I am a Christian and live a life of compromise, sin, and perversion. Do not come boldly to my throne with soiled hands and hard disobedient hearts. The testing of your faith has begun. Will your faith carry you as darkness continues to spread? Or will doubt and fear crowd out your faith? Will you stand in faith believing my word? Or will circumstances cast a long shadow over what you once believed? My word, my truth must be the lamp that lights your path as darkness seeks to destroy what remains of the light. The world and all it offers must no longer hold your heart. Others can, you cannot. Be about the Father's business. Pray and seek my face. Do not conform to the ways of the world. Do not follow after those that do. Reach higher than you could ever imagine. As you continue to draw closer, you will be used more to share with those with ears to hear and hearts to receive. The fires of faith must burn brightly in your heart. America is a harlot with many lovers. She plays at piety, but her heart is far from me. Dangerous days await her citizens. Sin mounts as my judgments approach. My church must be spotless before me. Stand strong, for mighty will be the evil in the days ahead. The gutter has opened wide, pouring forth the overflow of filth, piled higher year after year until now. Its stench it poisons and floods America. Opportunities wasted, time squandered, Rebellion increases as man refuses to see what lies before his eyes. You must refuse to doubt or tremble in fear. As darkness descends, move closer by soaking up the promises found only in my word. The redeemed of the Lord must shine their light in all circumstances at every occasion. As time continues to move closer to judgment, it will be important that my people, Jew and Gentile, have a sure and certain knowledge of who I am. None who name the name of my son, Yeshua, must falter, fear or doubt, but must be locked into my ark of safety, my word my spirit, my truth, must be your protection in the days ahead. My children must denounce all that is false and fake in the church and demand an accounting from leaders who have chosen not to stand for truth, finding compromise more to their liking. And that was the end of the message, and this is the scripture that goes with this. It's 2 Peter 3, verses 17 through 18. Therefore, beloved, since you already know these things, be on your guard 
so that you will not be carried away by the error of the lawless and fall from your secure standing, but grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be all the glory both now and to the day of eternity. Amen. I just would like to say God bless all of you, all my brothers and sisters in Christ. I thank you all again for your supportive comments and your kind words. And I just want to also thank you for all of your prayers for my family and for myself. And I continue to lift you all up in prayer and your families as well. And I also pray for the lost and I will continue to do so till the very last moment that our Lord is ready to come and take us home. So you all have a beautiful evening in the Lord. God bless you all, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.